to live in this body, a body of curves and rolling hills blanketed by yellow sunshine and hay. I am bountiful and I am wild. But to live in an invaded body, pillaged, stripped of its grain and gold, no one wants this trampled territory. Rape. He hid behind the name tag teacher and he taught me a lot of things. He taught me what baby fat looks like under the body of a man. He taught me how no has no meaning when only the devil is around to hear it. And he taught me how to hide. He taught me how to go nine years spilling out I'm okays and I'm fines for people who were only victims of pity. When I should have been screaming, look at me, see me. I was too busy hiding behind my hands so I wouldn't be your inconvenience. Rape. A man of great power and wealth. I read his name on billboards and magazines and all of this skin. A man meant to mold the minds of children. He molded these slumped shoulders of grief and love handles of anxiety. Rape. It influences every movement or lack thereof that you make. It makes you want to run into the nurturing embrace of your mother. And though you have spent nine months inspecting and learning her insides, she will never see how your stomach clenches every time someone looks at your body. And you can't even look at your own body because you know not a single inch still belongs to you. For you have become their buffet, greedy, strange hands grabbing at your thighs, breasts, and wings, and the only form of special you are is all you can eat. Rape. It throws you into the arms of a skinny boy. You climb into the jungle gym of his body, play house throughout his ribcage. Grasp his protruding hip bones like the chains on your swing set. You feel safe behind these monkey bars. But we can't stay children forever. And they tell you, ignorance is bliss. But what do you do when a teacher teaches you that playgrounds rust and skinny boys always leave? Rape. Close your eyes when you fuck, because eyes are windows to the soul, and you can't let them steal at your soul. It's the only piece of you you have left. The police will bound you in a blanket of victim blaming. They will tie up your neck with rope of innocent until proven guilty to save you. We must silence you. I am David. He is Goliath. And they have stolen all my stones. But this social injustice will not last my entire lifetime, no. One day he will die. And on his judgment day, he will be forced to face the bruises on my cheeks. He will be stripped of his pants of lies and his shirt of deceit, because before God we are naked. And this time it won't be me.